I'll respect your time and give you the important news up front. The short news is that I am back. The Lord of the Rings Online is going to restart this week, and it's going to be a little bit different in that I will be uploading two episodes per week as opposed to three episodes per week. The reason for that is I think I should value consistency over high volume output. So two episodes per week will allow me to at least be more consistent as opposed to pumping out a bunch of episodes at the risk of not being able to be consistent. You've seen the results of that over the past few months when I've disappeared. I've also been working on RuneScape, so some of those episodes will go up, and some of you have noticed some RuneScape live streams that will continue. I've been playing some single player games that I'm recording, although there's no timeline for that. Whenever they're done, they're done. So that is a short story, but since I'm here, I'm gonna ramble a little bit into the microphone, give you a little bit into the mindset behind the voice of Renaissance Gaming, not the face of Renaissance Gaming, because I'll never do a face reveal, I like the mystery, but a little bit into the mindset of the voice behind this all. So, I like myself, I'm pretty pleased with how I've turned out so far in life. I think I'm intelligent, I think I'm funny, pretty handsome, I'm a good guy, I'm a good guy, I've got good morals, and I've got good goals in place, and I've accomplished a lot already in life, but as with any other human, as with any of you, I have my flaws, and there are two flaws specifically that I have been struggling with and doing battle my whole life. I've had victories, I've had defeats, I wear many scars, but this is an enemy which I think will be perpetually in my life. Can never be fully vanquished, but I hope to get a better handle of. So number one is consistency. I do struggle with consistency. I have a lot of interests, and oftentimes I get pulled in a million directions, and I try a million different things, and I dip my toes everywhere, I read about everything, but I never really specialize, I never follow through, I never have that sort of commitment that allows me to be consistent with something over time. It's really a miracle that Renaissance Gaming is still uploading videos 10 years later. That's probably the most consistent thing I've ever had in my life, if I'm being fully honest. Because usually I'll try something, I may do it for several years, but then I'll move on to something else. I'm just always very scattered and getting pulled into it a million directions, trying a bunch of different hobbies. So over the last four months or so, however long it's been that I've been gone, it's just been another one of those episodes where I'm, I, I just moved recently, so I'm trying a bunch of different things around here. I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of writing. I've been doing a lot of projects unrelated to Renaissance Gaming. I've been doing a lot of exercising. I started doing jujitsu again, so I've got a lot of things going on that are pulling me in a lot of different directions and I never intended to disappear for a few months. I didn't wake up one day and say, all right, I need a break from Renaissance Gaming. I'm just gonna disappear. Really, it just kind of happened a little bit more organically. I got busy and things just kind of happened. Next thing I know, it's a month later. I haven't uploaded, I haven't done anything and then it feels a little bit overwhelming to come back and deal with all the comments and all that. So that's kind of what happened. So consistency, that's a problem for me. I want to continue working on that. I think decreasing my output a little bit with renaissance gaming will help with the consistency to some degree usually once a year i come on here and i make a bunch of promises and i talk about the goals of the channel and i think that i should probably stop doing that i should stop promising things because it's not fair to me and it's not fair to you it's not fair to me because it puts undue stress on me to produce and follow through with those promises for the channel and it's not fair to you because i set this certain expectation and you guys get excited about it and expect those things to be followed through on it. And when I can't deliver it, obviously it's a little bit frustrating for you guys. So, I don't want to promise anything anymore. The channel just is what it is, okay? Now that sounds doom and gloom, but it's not. It doesn't mean that I'm stopping the channel or anything like that. I have no intention of doing that. I want to continue Renaissance Gaming pretty much for the rest of my life. I want to continue doing Lord of the Rings Online and RuneScape and a bunch of single player games. That's never going to change. I just don't want to promise any sort of timetable on the delivery of said things. So, with that being said, the channel is what it is. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys can appreciate it. And that's that. My second flaw that I really struggle with is I have this tendency, I've always had this tendency, even as a child, to just kind of want to retreat and disappear from time to time. And I like that a lot. So. I'll just kind of drop off the face of the earth from time to time. And it's not anything that triggers it. It's just I enjoy being by myself. I enjoy being with my thoughts. I enjoy working on things by myself. And that's just the way it's always been. And that certainly affects a lot of people around me, obviously. So my family, my friends, you guys, now that you're following the channel, it affects people. 
and I do feel bad about that and it is something that I'm constantly working on and I would like to improve on but that's just the way it is my poor mother for example she knows she's been trained unfortunately to know now that it's not unusual to not hear from me for a couple weeks at a time or something it's not right but hey what can I do about it you know those shows the true crime shows like forensic files and things like that where the family and friends of a victim they're doing an interview and they all inevitably inevitably always say oh man I knew something was wrong right away when he didn't answer my text message within a day I knew something was wrong right away when he just disappeared and didn't show up to this or that if it was me if I was the victim of some violent crime it would be the exact opposite story they'd be interviewing my family and friends and they'd say well yeah you know he did he did disappear he did not respond for you know a few months but that's not unusual at all we just we thought it was normal we thought it was just normal if anything if he had started texting or calling us every day we think that something bad happened to him and somebody was taking over his phone so that's my problem to deal with and like I said it affects everybody I do need to call my grandmother more often I need to call my parents more often I need to reach out to my friends more often make sure they're doing okay because when you meet people and you start friendships and they start calling you and saying hey let's go hang out on Friday let's grab a drink let's do this let's do that you can only say no and you can only ignore them so many times before they stop contacting you altogether right and that's kind of one of my flaws I just retreat and I disappear and I'm very happy in those spaces it's again it's not a depressive thing it's not like I retreat into my cave and I'm gloomy and depressed I'm always very happy and I enjoy life it's not anything like that it's just one of my tendencies and it's a, it's it affects everything obviously it affected the channel it was very overwhelming to come back and see all the comments and people are very concerned about me asking hey man we hope you're all right let us know what's going on we look forward to having you back we're looking forward to more Lord of the Rings online video hope you're doing okay let us know if you're alive and it makes me feel bad when I come back and I read those comments, right? Because you guys have supported the channel for so long and I didn't even have the decency to come on here and explain that I'm at least alive, right? So that's frustrating. The other thing is, is that I saw that a lot of you continued financially supporting the channel, which makes me feel bad again because some of you remain YouTube members, Patreon donations, and in the meantime, I didn't give you a single video for months. I didn't even have the decency to come on here and let you know that I'm alive. So it's crazy to see the support that you guys have given me. It's also crazy to see that the channel didn't really lose too much steam while I was gone, which was completely counterintuitive to what I thought would happen because YouTube is so competitive nowadays that if you disappear, if you stop uploading for even just a few days, it's like your channel stagnates. But it wasn't the case here with Renaissance Gaming. The subscriber count kept going up at a steady pace. The views on videos kept going up at a steady pace. So I definitely do appreciate the support even in my absence. Again, it, it's something that I've done my whole life. I just kind of retreat and disappear and I don't like to tell anybody. I don't like to deal with anybody. I just go off and I do my own thing. As you can imagine, that affects everything. Like I said, family, it affected you guys. It affects romantic relationships, these poor women in my life. It's like, oh my God. You haven't answered my texts. You never answer my phone calls. You get home and you just go to your room. These poor girls. It's bad news, okay? So I do need to improve. I recognize that. I'm always trying to improve. I'm trying to do better. I have to realize that there are people around me that I affect whether I like it or not. And I should definitely take their feelings into account. It's not that I don't care about people. It's not that I don't care about my family and friends and, and romantic people. Of course... It's not that I don't care about you guys. It's nothing to do with that. I care about all of you very much. I care about all the people in my life very much. And it should not be taken as something personal when I disappear like this. I'm just trying to explain some of my quirks as a human being a little bit. And hope that that gives you a little bit of explanation as to what has happened over the past few months. But I'm back now. We'll be doing some uploads and... You know, if I notice that I kind of go off and do something for a few months and I've disappeared, I will do my best to recognize that cognitively and at least come on here pretty soon, like within a week of that happening and let people know that I'm being pulled in different directions. I'm rambling like a clown. I'm rambling into this microphone. I don't know if any of this makes any sense. Thanks for listening.